टीना दाबी और यू टॉक अबाउट रचित राज और सुशील जैन देशमुख कोई इसकी बात नहीं करता है हाउ टू मैक्सिमाइज योर स्कोर इन जनरल स्टडीज आप किसके लिए लिख रहे हैं वो कौन है इंसान जो आपका आंसर इवेल्युएट करता है यू शुड नॉट राइट You should answer. When you write, it should make sense. You should be having some X factor in your answer. That one mark each question. You know how big a difference it ultimately going to make. These three things are very important. Hey, uh, lot of time people ask me that how should we maximize uh, GS score? General studies me kaise zada number lai? I think uh, ab sabko pata hai ki GS is the mainstay. आई मीन चाहे आपका पी टी हो उसमें भी जी एस पेपर वन जी एस पेपर टू सी सैट इज जी एस पेपर टू दिज ऑल्सो जी एस एज गॉड ए मैसिव से इन योर स्कीम ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू हैव गॉड इन मेन एग्जामिनेशन फाइव हंड्रेड मार्क्स इफ यू जस्ट टेक आउट एज फॉर ऑप्शनल यू हैव गॉट फोर पेपर्स ऑफ टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मार्क्स दैट इज वन थाउजेंड मार्क्स दैट यू हैव गॉट फॉर चैनल स्टडीज देर आर फोर पेपर्स 1000 marks and it doesn't stop there gs also continues uh, when you talk about essay essay ke bhi marks mein you would find the 250 marks themes that are asked they are mostly the ones that you prepare for your general studies so general studies ka reflection is there also and when you go into the interview there also bearing a few questions here and there most of the questions that you have there is coming from your general studies again so it is very interesting that you find that general studies is everywhere but i'm sure all of you know that general studies is not something that you would have possibly studied at any level honors in general studies or msc in general studies or btech in general studies aisa to hota nahi hai and everybody is struggling in this so how to really 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 score well in general studies that becomes a very pertinent question I suppose in that backdrop, I would like to tell you about uh, uh, our scheme of things, my scheme of things, and these are going to be very relevant. You know why I'm saying very relevant? Because KSG may we have the tradition of people getting highest marks in the country on general studies, and ultimately they are big names. You talk about uh, uh, Tina Dabi, or you talk about Rachid Raj, or Shishir Jain Deshmukh. They, they all have been getting amazing marks in the country. and the story continues actually so many people they have got very very high score in general studies in the country and i have got experience of general studies in fact i am one of the oldest person teaching general studies in the country 1992 onwards this is one thing which i have done all through my life is general studies so i using my own experience and the past exposure of those people that i have seen them up close based on that i'm going to give you some advice that how to maximize your score in general studies in fact let me start with a very unconventional point you should be very clear that this is uh, general studies so they don't expect that you writing a specialized answer so general studies hai to general studies ka answer likhenge specialized answer nahi likhenge which you can possibly be expected to write in your uh, optional paper so you understand here that uh, if if you, you if you come from technology but science and technology ka answer should not reflect that you're going deep into that you're writing essay you're not a, you are a person of literature you're not writing a piece of literature let's say you are, are uh, having a uh, history you're not writing a historical debates in that you writing polity you are not writing political issues uh, of, of the natures and the thinkers that you have got there that's as part of political science and international relation as a subject sociology you are not going to thinkers and and those deeper parts of it ha huh. but again when i say this i would not say that you write a shallow answer you write an answer which has got a adequate balance between width and depth a beautiful balance of the two is something which is what i am requesting you to be having width and depth ka balance karna hoga and you have to another unconventional thing that i am giving you to think about that you think about the person that you are writing for koi iski baat nahi karta i would like you to be conscious of it that ki aap kiske liye likh rahe hain wo kaun hai insaan jo aapka answer evaluate karta hai wo cheez aapko dhyan mein rakhni hai maximize karne ke liye marks ke liye मार्क्स को अगर मैक्सिमाइज करना है तो आप देखें कि दैट पर्सन इज 
of the age bracket of 50 or 50 plus that age bracket so that is somewhere close to your parents and slightly senior maybe at times to your parents so you have to be respectful in that you can't write close ended words like uh, most important has to be first of all we uh, as we understand why should i understand the way you want me to understand so i am a, a very very special person so you have to be keeping me in mind i come from the area that you're writing history uh, like i mean you got paper 1 like history geography social issue so there'll be examiners who would have that background of it so don't try showing off too much of history to me or, or, or sociology to me or so you have to be little uh, uh, concerned about the person that person is not doing the most important thing of its life for you this main examination is the most important thing of your life but then you cannot expect that person is as concentrated that means when you write it should make sense it should not be like confusing that the person is reading two times three times the same line to make sense out of it they are not going to do that for sure promise so what i'm what i'm expecting is that you write in a manner that gets carried conveyed to that person and that person is ab actually understanding what you were saying it's not going to read twice the same line to make sense out of what you have said another thing this is again a very unconventional point i'm telling you uh, of course the basics you always get but all the decades that i have spent i must give you some some pointers that you should have as a special to keep in your mind that how you can and that that's the way through which you can maximize your uh, answers see uh, answer me do part ko dhyan mein rakhe aap ek jo ki very obvious hai expected hai and that is being asked to you you write that answer but there is a latent part of that question and that is the aspect of expectation i told you that you have to think about the person you're writing for now you have to also think about the expectation of that person that has got and same question expectation being different satisfaction will be different let me try simplify it otherwise it looks very abstract for you mai jaise farz kar lo ki mai i'll go on the road and ask somebody uh, what is the weather today somebody walking on the street looks into my eyes and say dr khan garmi pad rahi hai bahut bahut umas bhi hai barsat ka mausam hai i'm satisfied i didn't expect much from that person my expectation level was that that he'll give me answer like this and i'll be happy now think of another situation i ask somebody like you and you are the person who look at your mobile and say like uh, sir it is uh, uh, 35 degree c and then it is uh, bright and sunny today expected to have some rain in the evening i'm equally satisfied because my expectation from you was different and the expectation from the person walking the street was different third let me ask somebody from the met department a scientist from the met department if i ask the same question what is the weather today he'll tell me that the temperature is this much they would talk about specific humidity all kind of things they'll say i'll be equally satisfied do you know that i had the same question absolutely different answer and then equal satisfaction for the reason i was expecting different from different people i hope you got my point so when you are writing an answer and you want to maximize your marks feed the expectation also not that what i have asked that you answer me all right fine that's what i asked and that's what you answered but not just that stop there but also give me something which i expect and you know that what i expect from you i'm expecting that you are the youth of the country your future hope of the country you are the future bureaucrat of the country you are one person who would actually have commitment for the system the constitution the society and the kind of cultural inheritance that we have had so aapke answer mein kahin na kahin ye sab reflect hone chahiye ki you are the person i have been waiting for so that's another unwritten part of the question which i am expecting that you should be writing another thing which i would like to tell you if you want to really maximize in your answers gs scores i think uh, you should not write <laughs> yes sounds interesting isn't it you should not write you should answer and i hope you understand there is a humongous gap between writing and answering one has to be very clear that i am answering i am not writing i think lot of time lot of things we write that's not been asked for so one has to be really very clear about understanding what has been asked for and i should be answering i should not be writing now 
a very broad thing which I can tell you at this stage, of course, there's a lot of practice which goes into this, is that you should know the core of the quotient. There are some quotients which has got multiple cores. So, core slash cores of the quotient. You must write answering on the core part of it. You have no liberty of writing so much of it. A lot of people tell me, okay, sir, uh, it's word limit me answer khatam nahi ho raha tha, bahut difficulty ho rahi thi. And you know why? It's largely because you are writing, you're not answering. And if you understand the demand of the question, I promise you barely will be able to really uh, fill the answers in the words that has been asked for. It's mostly when you are writing, not answering, you end up having problem of time, you end up having problem with word limits. It's largely because you have not understood the demand. So you understand the core of the question. The second thing which is quite often missed here is that uh, what is the flavoring that they are asking you to give? See, you are the same girl. And you can be sister for somebody, you can be friend for somebody, neighbor for somebody, a, a, a colleague for somebody. Everybody approaches you with different requirement. And every time your flavor has to be different. So if you have understood the core of the question, let's say uh, if the, the core of the question is that uh, uh, how to attend the uh, uh, banking problem of NPA. To attend the problem of banking of NPA, one needs to uh, say that sometime they can ask you to describe that. Sometimes they will ask you to analyze that. Sometimes they ask you to evaluate, narrate, elucidate, examine, critically examine, analyze, critically analyze, critically discuss, all kind of flavoring. So, ek hi suji hai, jiska kabhi aap gujiya bana sakte hai, kabhi halwa bana sakte hai, kabhi kuska dosa bhi bana sakte hai, kuch aur bhi cheez kar sakte hai. So, the treatment is very important. And if you want to really maximize your answer in GS, you have to be conscious of the core and the context in which the core has been asked. And that is going to be very important. Now, if you really want to maximize your answer, remember my generation, the classical generation, wants the answer in a format that you have got. You have got correct introduction, correct body, and correct conclusion. It should not be something like, hey, you take everything and then this is what it is. You have to work on the structure that uh, you are writing in. And then structure, expectation, the person that you are writing for. And also, quite often I find that students uh, have not practiced enough even if you know that. See, there are two things. One is content. That's what you know. And the other is expression, the skill of it. A lot of time people rely that since I have got the content, I would be able to write answer. If you really want to maximize your answer marks in general studies, you must practice. Practice, practice, practice. This is something which is what I would like to tell you that these three things are very important. First is practice. Second is practice. And third, you guessed it right, is practice. So all these three things that you have to be doing, and then you, if you have practiced enough, even if you have got some places when you have got less information, you will be able to really produce an answer. And remember one more thing, if you want to really maximize your scores in general studies, I, I think one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you should be having some X factor in your answer, something special. Trust me, it's a very boring exercise evaluating the answer on the same topic right from morning till evening. And you all become very same after PT. Of course, before PT, there's a gap between two of you. But when UPSC takes a top slice, the gap between two students is almost negligible. If I ask uh, a question and you are writing five answers, like how to really um, uh, diversify the rural economy. If I ask this question, five points if you are giving, out of these five answers, you would fi five pointers, I would find four points is common to all of them. But this fifth point, if this is an special answer, I am sure that is the differentiator which I am looking forward to. So try, when you are doing your answer, try uh, ensuring that your answer has got something special in that. And that special X factor that you have an answer, that has to be, that could be a fact, that could be a diagram, that could be an illustration, that could be a table, that could be some startling fact whatever something special in your answer if you must pack and then it's not going to give you like f five marks more or four marks more three marks more not like that one one and a half marks more one and one and a half marks more in every question you will see that you will maximize and you go towards 110 plus 
and that's something which is what I should expect. Because those people who do not clear, they're also not getting uh, uh, 60 or 65. They're also getting 80, 85. But that one mark each question, you know, how big a difference it ultimately going to make. And I am uh, talking about having something special in your answer. And also, uh, if you want to really prepare well and get maximized, maximum score in your general studies answer, I would like you to do a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, balancing act in your answers. Like, I mean, you should not be thinking that some answers are very good and some answers are not so good. So give adequate time so that there's a balance in that and there's no answers which are left. Also, prepare for the uncertain areas and uncertain areas if you have practiced, you should be in a position to really, really able to uh, comprehend and, and do it. In fact, uh, this list of advisors that uh, goes on, if you want to really maximize, I suppose uh, uh, practice is, is a very, very important thing. And these are some of those unconventional points which I have told you. Uska thoda dhyan rakhe. And in my opinion, this GSK maximization ka jo scope hai, usko aap definitely realize kar sakte hai. And uh, practice kare and jaha bhi hamare zarurat hogi, we'll be all very happy to help you and guide you further on capitalizing your potentials of general studies scoring, which is very vital for your final selection. My best wishes are with you.